everyone. Goodness, goodness. We got some people here ready to talk Scotch and Irish. Oh, this is my friend Denise. Hi, everybody. We're going together to Scotland and Ireland, um, doing all the fun stuff. Hey, there we are. Let's see who's here. Oh, wait. Let's see who's here. <laughs> Might uh, need those. Yes, uh, MC is here saying to tag MC in each $5 entry to be entered in the giveaway. MC is tracking for me tonight. So if you're on your phone, it's less typing. It's just hashtag MC. Um, Tasty Sensibility says, good evening, everyone. Matthew Parks is here. Um, he likes Scotch and Irish, says Doug. Um, Chris SBWE is here. Hi, Chris. How are you? Matthew Parks and Michael S. Michael S., as soon as we get back, Will and I are going to schedule a patron-only stream, and we're going to do that flight that you sent us. That I'm looking forward to that. Just not enough time beforehand. So John Krantz is here. Des is here. Hello. And, okay, moving on down. Tim Corney, I'm going to have a great vacation. Lots of fun. Lots of good people. Lots of good food. Malam is here. Michelle and Denise from, oh, that's not Malam. That's Daughter Pass Whiskey. Malam says, cheers, Whiskey and, Whiskey and Denise. <laughs> Michelle and Denise from Mike and Elise. <laughs> that, that rhyme. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lily Elise. How so, are you? Okay. <sighs> and um, Daughter Pass Whiskey, hi. How are you? Doing well. I'm excited. So, so be kind, because this is my uh, my first time. Yes, it's well, your except, first time. Except you saw my arm on one episode. <laughs> so those of you that have seen Scott uh, from Soul Invictus that have joined us for a couple of streams about finished um, whiskey, this is his wife, Denise, and also our friends. We're going to travel through Scotland and Ireland and all the things. We're going to be gone a total of like 19 days. We are. You know, she's probably hot in that hoodie. So you guys look at Ellie's little hoodie though. Isn't she adorable? Look, it says the dog face. <laughs> oh, let's take her coat off. All right. Uh, is this the last stream before vacation? It is. Yes. So next week, um, Whiskey Mountains, Adriana is going to host here on my channel. And sounds like she's going to do a flight of different mash bills from Jim Beam. So kind of like what I was doing with Buffalo Trace, because, you know, she's a bean freak. Um, and she's going to do mystery boxes and all the stuffs. So um, make sure you show up for that. There you go. She loves to mm -hmm. Um, And then I'm not sure. I am going to try and go live one time while I'm over in Scotland or maybe Ireland. But it's a seven-hour time difference. So I'll have to get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and just start my day with whiskey. It'd be fine. It'll be fine. Um, Mr. Mom 310, cheers from Northeast Oklahoma, Nebraska, Oklahoma. Northeast, Northeast Oklahoma. That makes way more sense. Um, if you will be in the Highlands, consider Dornock Castle Hotel, home of the Thompsons Brothers Distillery and Independent Bottlers. Oh, we are staying in a castle in Invergary, mm -hmm. and we're staying in another castle in Ireland. Where at in Ireland? I don't remember. Our itinerary is so crazy. I literally it, have it to. Is. I have to look at it every time. So, um, MC says Deanston was my gateway into real whiskey. Yes. So we are going to Deanston. So that is one of the things that we're drinking tonight. Um, I think I'm going to drink through through our distillery map. There's a couple that I don't know if we're going to like Galwini we talked about. I don't know, but I know which ones are set in stone. The other thing that we were going to talk about is, so if we do the live stream over there, that I was going to do my first whiskey tasting. And we were going to try and make some recommendations on what I try. Because I'm not... I'm not a whiskey drinker. She's not. Not at all. I'm I'm a wine drinker. I, I like that. That makes wine. sense. I mean, you're right. a winery. Right. Yeah. 
Um, so looking for recommendations, probably low proof, something a little sweeter. The nice um, thing is a lot of them are low proof. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that if we go live, we should definitely, you guys think we should definitely get Denise to try whiskey because we've been friends for a couple of years now and I've never been able to get her to try whiskey. So yeah, just, just not my jam. It might be, you don't know. Yeah. So, so tonight I'm, I'm sniffing and we're, we're starting there. Baby steps. Baby steps. Um, let's see. Uh, Taste and Sensibility says, hey, Ellie, it is wise. Is it wise to have you on so early? Probably not. <laughs> Uh, for those of you newly visiting, if the dog yawns, you take a sip. Um, maybe she'll take a little nap and give us a little reprieve. So um, there are a lot of distilleries right on the on the 95, the main road up to the Highlands. Um, so we are starting in Edinburgh, right? We are. I should have pulled up our itinerary. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're starting in Edinburgh. What the then we're, yeah, why don't you pull that up? Cause I'll say it all wrong and then we'll be here all night. Um, Sean Peak is in for four via PayPal starting off. Um, says getting in early for Scotch and Irish night. Good idea. It is themed. I'm sure there's something in those boxes. Michael S is starting it off early. Um, Venmo as well saying, um, good journey to you in Scott. So it says, oh, I got to. I got to try and he's making me pronounce shit. Here we go. Tuas math. Wow, my glasses are dirty. Tuas math dut. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I don't know what that says. I have no idea what that says. Oh, that's funny. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. <laughs> are you going to Boonenhaven? Um, No. So we packed so much stuff yeah. into this trip. So we've got well, five of us are going mm -hmm. and we've got two avid whiskey drinkers, one pretty solid whiskey drinker. We've got someone who doesn't drink whiskey, but just might. Right. And then we've got a, I think I like whiskey drinker. Yeah. So we're also got shoppers and sightseers. First absolutely and architectural lovers absolutely so we crammed it all in there so we did a little give and take we're actually not going to talisker and we're gonna be taking a tour kind of right by it so we're gonna have to do a separate trip eventually to go hit um we're not getting to spring bank so we're gonna have to make another trip absolutely okay um I lost what I was saying. <laughs> Ardbeg for Denise. No, not Ardbeg for Denise. That's just mean. That's just mean. What the heck? Okay, so I forgot my little water bottle for hydration, so I'm going Diet Coke. Um, yeah, I, I wish I could go to Campbelltown. I really do. It's just not in the cards this time. Um, nothing wrong with giving yourself an excuse to go back. Yes. Uh, Whiskey Censored asking who Denise is. Denise is my friend. Um, this is Scott Smith's wife, and they own Soul Invictus Winery, where I... It's Frequent. Like, it's my second home. It's like Cheers, <laughs> but with wine. It's where I met Kathy Jo. Mm -hmm. And Denise and I have become really good friends, and so we are all going to Scotland and Ireland together. We are. Ooh. And we are, we are actually doing a little bit of divide and conquer. Um, so we're splitting up on some of it because Scott really wanted to go to Oban. Yes. Um, so he and I and his mom are going that direction and you guys are going up to Cork. We're going down to Cork. Yeah. Down to, sorry. So, but Cork is in Ireland. So you guys are going to Oban while we're going down. What? So which way? I don't know which part of the itinerary it is. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Distillery wise. I think there's still He wanted to go to Oban. Mm-hmm. But you guys aren't going to Oban with us. We aren't? I don't know. Well, maybe you are. I don't know if we are or not. Will, because Will was like, we may, we may not. We don't know what we're doing. Okay, anyways. We're just going along. Uh, Raging Irishman, hello. Hopefully you got your um, winnings that I sent your way. Um, Eddie D is coming from Mash and Drum. Hello, lady. Hello. How are you? I think we should start 
Okay, so Will and I disagreed on this. I think I should start with the Irish before I move to the Scotch. He thinks I should start at the beginning of our trip and drink through it. And we're starting in Scotland. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, or am I going to do any bottle shopping at the duty for you know it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so we have two wine suitcases that hold a case of wine apiece. So it just so happens that they also hold whiskey bottles. Can you so, bring that? I don't think you can bring that much whiskey back though, can you? Uh, we're gonna find out. <laughs> so if the spot There's doesn't hold limit. whiskey, it might hold something else. We'll figure it out. El Camino Mas Lago Brewing is here. Hello, hello. Um, lighter Irish before scotch. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Thank you. Um, always got to finish with the scotch. Doug has it right. Taste of sensibility says, drink what you want, Michelle. Mm -hmm. you know, that's true. That is kind of the motto of isn't this, isn't it? Isn't that what you always say? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yo, 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 says Roman Carter. Um, we are going to both because we're going to we're going to go we're flying into i got do you have that itinerary <laughs> I'm gonna, i should pull it up scott's bringing it up we me. are driving will and i are breaking off for a bit and we're going to drive down to cork to go to middleton um it's been like four days down there but we're going i think kind of the whole shebang on the west coast north to south mm -hmm. in ireland we're doing Oh, Dublin, Belfast, Inver Inverness is where we're. No, that's within Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> There's just clothes in the suitcase. Got two bottles at tax and duty free. Um, isn't the five liter limit a U.S. thing? I don't know, but we have to be able to get it into the U.S. And then I have a connecting flight. So I don't know. I don't really know. I do have to look that up, though, because either way, one of two things is going to happen. I'm going to ship my clothes home and then check the bottles, or I'm going to find one of those drop ship places. They're going to cost me a small fortune to get some very select bottles home. One of those things. Okay. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the Irish. Let's start there. Um, some really good distilleries in North. I am going to two stacks. Oh, I forgot to get the two stacks down. I'm too short. Oh, um, can I reach it? Probably not. That's okay. Oh, yeah, there's a stool on the other side. I Wait, get it. I have some samples of two stacks here, still sitting here from Stacy. I'll drink those. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I, I regress. Um, going to two stacks, and they're going to meet with me, and we're going to do some chatting and some walking and all the stuffs um, on our way to Cork. Or no, yeah, Cork. See, I don't know where I'm going. Joseph Brazo, hello. Basically, six bottles per person, says Brazo. Okay. So I, I need a, a third person. Well, there's four of us. Yeah, but you don't think your husband's going to buy <laughs> whiskey? <laughs> Pat probably will too. Well, there will be four of you buying whiskey. So yeah, there will be true. six bottles a piece. And we can hold. She'll learn. 24. <laughs> and then we'll ship. Uh, we're going to get some for the bunker. We're going to get some for our collection. We're going to get some to drink while we're there. We're going to do all the stuff. Okay, Raging Irishman is reminding everyone to hit the like button. Thank you very much. Let's start with, what do I got here from Two Stacks? I've got, dun, dun, dun. let's do this for Denise. We'll do the Two Stacks 13-year single grain rose champagne finish. Oh, that so, sounds fun. Yeah. So for those of you that are just joining, Denise is hopefully going to take her first sips of whiskey while we're over there, but she's going to do a little smelling tonight. Baby steps, baby, baby steps. steps. Um, adopt a few kids to bring home. I love whiskey, but I don't know if I love whiskey that much. Mine are finally grown and gone. <laughs> Justin or Julian, if you're watching that, I'm so sorry. I love you more <laughs> now that you're out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, she's not. Don't forget the UK bottles are 700 milliliters, so I think that's seven bottles. Oh. Mm. Sean Pete, I like the way you think. Just chug it and get it over with, LOL. Okay. So Taste of Sensibility loves two sex. I'm so excited. So special shout out to Four Leaf Whiskey because she actually emailed them and said, hey, 
Um, I have a friend. I sent her some two stacks. She fell in love with it. She's coming there. What do you guys got going on? They're like, they emailed me. They're like, let us know when you're going to be here. We'll make sure that we're available. All the good stuff. Joseph Brazo says, yeah, it's five liters in checked bags. If you find bottles in duty free, you can grab some for your carry on. Okay. No, Ben, I'm not starting her on Koi Hill. Okay, so smell. That smells good. Well, it does smell good. Incorrect. The liter limit is total, including duty free and checked luggage. I believe that's right because when we came back from Mexico, we had, when we hit the US, we had to put our duty free into the luggage. Yeah, Stacy is awesome. I absolutely adore her. I was going to reach out and see if she wanted to join as well today, but I, Honestly, I got so busy that by the time I remembered, I thought it would be kind of mean to ask her at the last minute. Denise doesn't have to like whiskey. She just has to pack five to seven bottles. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Scott Smith. No, she has said that she will be smelling tonight. She's not going to have a wee bit of whiskey. No. Okay. Okay. So I forgot that um, I did this little flight from uh, Stacy. She has a channel called Four Leaf Whiskey, which check out Four Leaf Whiskey if you like Irish, because she knows so much about Irish whiskey. Um, and I did this, and I forgot this champagne finish one. I did not really care for. It is cast strength as well. Um, I love the nose. It smells so it good. Does. It, it smells, smells yummy. So it smells like, like dark cherries mm -hmm. and a hint of oak. I will say Denise has a wonderful nose. Denise, best to stay with the Highland Scotch and Irish. Only smell the Isla. Yeah, I, I feel that. Okay. Scott says, I'm driving. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but he, he's out on the patio with uh, at least Will and I think Tim, and mm -hmm. I'm yep. not sure who else is out there. So The Malwell's out there. Yeah. Um, Joseph Brazo packed six bottles in my checked bag when I left Kentucky. After I went through TSA, I found a couple of bottles in the airport liquor store. They went into my carry-on, and there were no issues. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not giving her a whiff of Lafroig. That is very mean. What is up with these folks? Oh, you know, I just think it is so mean when someone's like, I'm going to try scotch. And they give you like Ardbeg smack you in the face or Laphroaig or, or something like that. Is this like 200 proof stuff and I'm going to be on the floor? Or? It smells like burning band-aids. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. It's definitely acquired. I'm more of a, a spring bank. Um, it's got it's more citrusy and and whatnot. Uh, oh, that Deanston, would be all right. Deanston, which we're, I think we're going to Deanston. So, um, um, yeah, the band-aid smell in the wine business is, it went bad. We, we don't sell band-aid wine. So I can't imagine having band-aid whiskey. Right. Yeah. Or scotch. So, um, if you get that wild turkey, um, from the duty free, it's freaking fantastic. It's so good. I wish I had another one. I'm hoping that I have some room left to grab something like that because it's so good. Oh, you see his little ears. That's adorable. Okay. <laughs> okay, did you find our itinerary? I did. So we are starting out in Edinburgh. Okay, we're going to stay a couple nights in Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Yep. Edinburgh and, and we're going on a chocolate experience. And then from Edinburgh, we're staying at a castle. Okay. And then we are heading to a haunted city tour. The haunted city tour I'm super excited about. Um, and I think there's a, a castle. I want to see some of the cathedrals. We're staying in Cork just like within, we can see the cathedral mm -hmm. from our room. Right. I'm so excited. Yeah. And then we're renting a car and we're going to Glengarry. Glengarry. Yes. So Glengarry is where we're staying at the castle. Um, and from there, we're going to be like driving, doing different tours. We're going to do the Harry Potter train. 
Um, we're going over to the Isle of Skye. We got a couple of things we're doing. Um, loving the itinerary so far, um, says uh, Raging Irishman. Um, so then I think during that time is kind of when we're doing Deanston. Um, I should have pulled up my itinerary because I think it's different. Um, during that time, Will has the thing. I don't remember. So when we go through, we do that. Then we go to... Then we're going... From Inverness, we fly to Belfast, right? Yes. So we fly to Belfast. Yep, the flight down to Belfast. And we do a couple things there. Then... Yep, we have the Black Cab Historical Tour. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. Which sounds super fun. Hi, Mike. Oh, and that's the Giant Causeway Whiskey Bridge. We also have um, the Guinness. Mm. And yeah, we're doing the Guinness one. The Guinness one. Um, we're doing the, Will and I are doing the Jameson Experience. We're going to Two Stacks, and then we're going down to Middleton, um, you know, for the, the Red Breast and the, oh my gosh, the Jameson and the Middleton and the, all the stuff. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love Irish. Okay. Sorry, guys. Our big smells like a weathered fisherman has slapped you in the face with a fish laddered pelican next to a beach ring, fire ringed with old tires. And I love it. Oh my gosh. Says Who Michael, is that? Michael S. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh. Uh, and do you have that one open? Probably, yeah. Because, oh, good heavens. Yeah. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> you can smell it. We have we have Ardvig everywhere. It's everywhere. That's too funny. Um, Joseph Brazo says, women of whiskeys, whatever you do, don't order an Irish car bomb in the pub. Um, okay. okay. Why? Because we might actually get a bomb. I don't like, know. What is it? And why? Just saying. Okay. I do want to taste Guinness. I don't like Guinness, American Guinness, but everyone says it's completely different over there. Right. And I want to know what that means. So, okay. Don't forget, we're going to play the mystery box giveaway game at the end. And we do have the live stream, um, the private live stream for patrons after the show. Okay, so that was the two stacks. And I will say the nose on that is so much better. You're right. It does have the, the cherry... A little citrus. Some kind of like floral note. Oh, that's probably the, that's probably the rosé. <laughs> <laughs> probably. It, it probably is. Okay. The rosé champagne. Yeah. Um, all right. So from there, from there, let's do one of my faves. Let's do Red Breast 12 Cast Strength. What do you think? Yes. Who's drinking Irish? Anybody drinking Irish tonight? Women whiskeys, shot glass of Bailey's, dropped into a pint of Guinness, and then chugged. No. Oh. That's not happening. I like Bailey's, but yeah. I'll you want to drop it in some Guinness and chug it? I don't think so. Like you're in college? No. No? No. Okay. I'll take a Bailey's straight up. Uh, while in Ireland, tried to get a pour of kill. You know, I. that's a good idea. Raging Irishman, I should. Hi, C-Man. Okay. Here we go. This Which one is this. This is Red Breast 12. It's the cast strength. Um, this is a single pot still. Okay. Um, Are we still in Ireland? This, yep. This okay. is Ireland. This is um, in Cork. Okay. So this is where I'm going, and I'm so excited. So excited. Is this one of the ones you have the interview scheduled with? or No, that's oh. two stacks. That was these little The samples. first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And I'm a huge fan of two stacks. Huge. Um, they're just starting to catch on. People are really starting to, it's probably Stacy's fault that people are finding out how good they are. Well, I'm excited that you get an interview with them. Yeah. That I mean, I don't fabulous. know how much time they'll have, you know, it's their busy time. I did find out that while we're in Cork, it's like the largest choral festival. I had to look that up what that was. Music. Choir. Yeah. Choruses singing. And it brings like, like the whole town gets full and. I'm like, Will's driving. That should be fun. He doesn't even drive in the U.S. <laughs> uh, okay. Twin Richie Z is here. Hi. You're diving into Red, Be Red Breast PX, Taste of Sensibility. Mm, good choice. 
Um, Women Whiskeys, is that the older release red breast or the newer? It is the older. Um, I've got the newer one up there as well. But if you can see that. Um, a lot is quite, you know, I need to side by side them because I really, I haven't paid that much attention. I really should. This 116.4 proof. I'd have to ask Will when we got this, but we got this a long time ago. A long time ago. And I'm in love with it. I'm going to be very sad when it's gone, but we do have the, the newer one up there. So, um, I heard that some of the red breast, oh, you had some of the red breast PX with Doug. I like it. Now the tawny port for me was way sweeter than the PX or was it vice versa? No, it was vice versa. I was surprised the PX was so much sweeter than the tawny port, but it was too sweet for me almost, but it's good. That's a beautiful color on that. Like that? Yeah. That's very That's pretty. Well. So again, this is cast strength as well. Um, that's mm. probably one of my favorite Irish whiskeys is Redbreast. Um, I was going to pull out the Middleton Very Rare. I have the 22 down there, I think it is. Um, if I have time, maybe I'll pull it out. Um, okay. Uh, Lawrence is drinking uh, Copper and Cast, compliments of Big Vic. Nice. So yeah, I like the nose on this. Take a sip, Denise. You need to train up. <laughs> Thanks. Probably, probably not start with cast strength. Maybe, yeah. maybe start with um, probably just the the red breast twelve would be a great one. Yeah. Or if you were doing a scotch, maybe a um, maybe one of those spring banks or something like that. Spring bank ten, or even. Um, was it the, the Delmore That's, or Deanston? Any of those? Anyway, uh, my glass. No, Irish, I'm drinking. I just totally blanked on SMWS. What Single is that? Single malt whiskey cast. Cast right. number 72109, orchestral maneuvers in the cast. Okay. Why am I not, why is it not clicking what SMWS is? Okay. I'm going blank. Somebody help me out. Um, you like Buddha Hub in 12. Okay. Now I have realized I like Port Charlotte 10. Now I know it says heavy peated, but it's not. It's not. I'm just saying. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Okay. I do know that I don't like the peated because you had that over here the other night and we passed that around and I smelled it and I can't get past the nose. <laughs> Yeah. Cannot get past the nose. That's good. Okay, so. But that smells lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like there's a higher alcohol content in it. Mm -hmm. You've got the higher sugars because um, it's got that sweeter notes to it. Yeah. It's definitely, it's, it's one of my favorite. I'm so excited. I'm hoping they have some kind of distiller releases over there. Um, I know Will was looking all that up and he, I think he said they didn't, but mm. you know, you, one can hope it's fine. Um, or maybe he said they don't, I don't know. I don't remember. There's something to be said about aging gracefully, says Bear Doyle. Hmm. Donald Rance is here. Hello. How are you? Good. You can give us advice. I can pick your brain. How's that sound? Okay. We're already halfway through the hour. I'm going to have to get into some scotch here in a second. Um, how many are you tasting this evening? Um, we're going to do the two stacks. We're going through some of the places we're going to. So mm -hmm. two stacks, um, red breast because we're going to Middleton. Okay. Um, we're going to try, I've got a 2008 Deanston, um, Bordeaux red wine cask matured. That's an old one. This is, that this sounds is old. fun. In fact, when I pulled this out, was it this one? No, it's the other one. We're going to do a Deanston 12. That's the old bottle. So when I pulled it out, I don't know if you guys can see that cork. That is how I found it when I pulled it out of the box. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put this out on the counter. Maybe the boys will help me finish it because that's gotta go. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you don't have to ask them twice. 
Oh, wait, did I see Four Leaf Whiskey? Were your ears burning? We were just talking about you. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Um, Raging Irishman with the $10 Super Chat. Hoping you all have a wonderful trip and excited to hear your experience when you get back. Thank you very much. I'm super excited. I'm happy to be traveling with friends. I've actually never traveled with friends before. So that's kind of why Will and I are breaking off for a little bit. Because I don't care how good of friends you are. <laughs> that's a long time. That is. A long time. That's a lot of togetherness. Yes. Yes. I don't even know. And we want to be friends afterwards. So. Mm, yeah. But we have an agreement. If if we're doing stuff or we don't want to do stuff, everybody can kind of do their own thing. The only real thing is just if you agree to something, don't be late. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I don't hold anybody's hair. Uh, no hair holding. No. No. Hopefully there's no hair holding. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, so, Deanston was Richie Z's favorite scotch for a long time. I'm going to drink that tonight. Outstanding. So Desira, is that how you Des, say it? Des, yeah. She Desiree. asked me a question. Okay. Do and I no, I haven't tried whiskey in a wine barrel. Um, my husband, Scott, has. And he was on the show um, several episodes ago and he had talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have not. I'm still new to the uh, the whiskey side of things. Yep, she is smelling tonight, and then when we get her overseas, we're gonna she's gonna taste some. It sounds like so. I'll report back. Um, okay, pick up the Redbreast Airport exclusive at the Dublin Airport. Okay, okay. Don't have to don't have to tell me twice. Uh, it was released about two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yay. I love that. Okay. So, so this is probably one of my favorite Irishes is the Red Breast 12 cast drink. It's so freaking good. I actually haven't had a Red Breast, I don't think, that I don't like. Um, Clonakilty is good as well. We're not going there. Um, so, Okay. Let's move into some scotch. Ooh, that dropped fast. Let's go into scotch. How about, let's start with, let's start with the Deanston 12. Okay? Because, well, it's already half open. <laughs> Please don't break. Okay. It's been a while since I've had me some Deanston. I'm excited. Wow, look at that. That's oh, where yeah. I was pushing that, that cork up. Um, my ent entry into Scotch was a tour of UK in 2005, and we stopped in, at the time, the smallest distillery in Scotland, Edredor. Edredor? Hmm, my class, I have not had that or anything about it. Um, want to get that new Larceny? That new Larceny is good. I'm not going to lie. That is an old Deanston bottle, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John Kenneth, that is a very old Deanston bottle. Um, this is one that we'll probably hang on to after we kill it. It's vintage. It's a vintage bottle. Okay, so this so, is a lighter scotch. Yep, so it's, you can tell it's lighter in color mm -hmm. than the last one that you tried. Oh, look at the legs on that thing. Holy moly. See how that's yeah. coating that glass? Mm -hmm. Don't mind the fingerprints, but look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, Taste and Sensibility drove around England and Scotland for 13 days a few years ago with my daughter and son-in-law. Um, what a trip. That's pretty much what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We leave this Sunday and we will be back. Well, we're going down. We're just flying down to Vegas and spending the night and then going from there instead of having to do a bunch of puddle jumpers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. We leave on Monday evening. From okay. There. Yeah, we leave from Vegas on Monday afternoon. And then arrive the next day in, or later that night, in Edinburgh, in London. Okay. And then to Edinburgh. Or maybe, yeah. <laughs> On the way back, we have to do a layover in Chicago. Anyways, um, these and corks tend to break easily, so be careful. I was a little nervous. Good I'm not going to lie. I did, uh, I did break the cap off of one of these the other night. I went like this, and I was like, Shit. Happens. The only cork I've ever broke was a freaking Eagle Rare. That's like my favorite mm -hmm. whiskey. I was 
pretty upset. That was a while ago. Okay, you want to smell this? Yes, please. Okay, this is the Deanston 12. Um, I know we're going to Deanston. I don't know if you guys are going with us or not. So this smells a little spicier. Spicy meatball? Spicier, yeah. And what's the what's the proof on this one? This is... So this has got some vanilla behind it, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. 92.6. So it's 92.6. Okay. Um, okay. I'm in Chicago area. I hope you don't have too long of a layover. Huge layover. I want to say it's like five hours or something like that. Yeah. It's going to be a thing. And they bumped us down to like economy economy on a 10 hour flight. Yuck. Uh, four leaf whiskey, $10 super chat in for two entries says give Shane and Liam my best at two stacks and give my <laughs> entries to MC. Aww. That's very nice of you, Stacy. And Stacy, thank you so much for reaching out to them over at two stacks. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I will definitely, um tell them i was going to reach out and see if you wanted to join me tonight but it was very last minute and i didn't want you to fill on the spot maybe when i get back we can uh we can jump on and we can go through the trip if you're up to it mr jiggs is here hello sir yeah so i get the dark fruit a little bit of saltiness a little bit of maritime in there so good for scotch even, I mean, I remember the word scotch used to make me just cringe. Yeah. Yeah. But then I learned it's not scotch I don't like. Mm -hmm. It's, and it's not even necessarily peat that I don't like. I just don't like burnt. I don't like heavy. I don't like smack you in the face. Yeah. I don't like heavy smoke. Right. Um. In fact, I'd probably take a little peat over smoke. Hmm. I know. Weird, okay. right? Because especially if it's like. Like the hickory smoke liquid that you cook with, if I get right. that on it. Mm -mm. Yeah, mine is like that maple smoke. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I don't like that at all. Oh, my gosh. That Dean's in 12. That is something. That is something else. Oh, my gosh. That is so good, you guys. Still super smooth? It is. Like, it just goes like butter. Oh, nice. Yeah, it coats the whole mouth. It It's just, it goes down nice. You get um, all the flavors together versus like one on top of the other. Okay. Do you get an aftertaste or anything like that? Or No, just it's just, it just kind of, it fades out versus being a big punch and being over. Okay. It's so good. You sure you don't want to try it? I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 is one of my favorite pours that I've had. I have not had that. We've got another Deanston. I don't know. Deanston 20 burnt toast. Ugh. Burnt toast? Hmm. Really? Well, like. But he's saying that for the Deanston 20. The 20. Huh. Now, I get toast on the 12. I don't get burnt toast. Um, It's like buttered toast. Yeah. Oh, I like buttered toast. It's like buttered toast because, you know, toast tastes different than bread. It's more mm -hmm. got a right. little bit of that. The dry, mm -hmm. crisp flavor. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the, I guess it's like a touch of charcoal -y kind of flavor to it. Yeah. But it tastes like butter. So much butter. Michelle Drew from Scotch for Dummies coined that description. Okay. Now, um, Scotch for Dummies um at the whiskey tribe meetup in 2019 gave me my first drink of scotch oh my gosh and they gave me glenmorangie signet and i liked it and i went back and i told will and he said of course you do it's like a 250 and fifty bottle at msrp <laughs> and i went oh perfect you have expensive taste i do <laughs> i do that's usually what happens with me oh uh, Mm. That's so good. That's going to take me a minute. Um, wow. 
So we are in about, I do math, in about 18 minutes, <laughs> we are going to cut off the entries for the uh, mystery box giveaway game. Right now it's really good odds. You know that it's, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be some stuff in there. It's always themed. Um, so every $5 tonight is MC. MC is tracking. So if you're going to use one of the links in the description, uh, make sure you tag MC with your number of entries. Um, or you can just do a super chat. Either way, it's completely up to you. Oh, and Scott, if you're listening, will you put in two entries for me since I'm working? Thank you, baby. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Jeffrey Wack says hello again, whiskey friends. Hi, Jeffrey Wack. How are you? I haven't chatted with you in a while. I hope things are well. Mm. <laughs> Wow, there's Scott Smith with a $20 super chat <laughs> saying celebrating fine scotch and Denise's smelly vision. Smelly vision. <laughs> smelly vision. <laughs> uh, I mean, That's she's awesome. getting all the notes, right? smell vision She's getting all the notes, right? And I think, I think you're going to be surprised. I think at first you're going to have trouble getting through the um, ethanol part of it. Yeah. And then once you get through that, I think you're going to actually enjoy it, especially some of the finished Irishes. Mm -hmm. I think you'll like those. We'll find out. I think I might end up being more of a whiskey cocktail. Absolutely. Rather than straight. I would agree. I would agree. There's some great whiskey cocktails. Yeah. Um, I mean, next time we're out, I always get a whiskey cocktail. I'll have you, I'll have you try a few. Yeah, we can do that. In fact, speaking of which, I have a date. I will look it up um, and put it in Patreon, and then I'll announce it. We have a date for the Criminals and Cocktails collaboration. Oh, perfect. We, um, Whiskey Mountains is going to be joining me, and we are going to do a Criminals and Cocktails. As always, we're going to put the crimes into Patreon for you guys to vote on, as well as the cocktail. And... Um, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I want to say it is May. It's shortly after I get back, mid-May. So, um, is everybody competing again? No, that's or the clash that... of the cocktails. Okay. So this is where we get together and we make a cocktail and we talk about a true crime case. Okay. And so um, the people that are members of Patreon, they vote on like. I give them like three or four cases and then three or four cocktails and they vote and whatever gets the most votes. That's the case of cocktail we do. All right. We took a little break from it for a while because, you know, life was a little overwhelming and you don't want to mess up on any of the facts of a right. case. Right. So many people can get hurt. So anyway, super excited. Yes. Des says, woohoo, criminals and cocktails. Yeah. Um, and then we'll, of course, do our mystery box giveaway and all that stuff. So um, I'll probably get out some of my old criminals and cocktails merch and, and some bottles for the. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Can you tell? Yes. Oh, We're bringing it back. Sean Peak says, nice. Looking forward to it. I'm super excited. Um, we're not going to um, commit to doing like one a month like we did before. Whiskey Mountains is going to be. Um, it's going to be her and I doing all the criminals and cocktails oh, wow. going That's forward. Awesome. And when we feel the urge, then if we both go, you know, we have time. It could be one every two weeks. It could be one a month. It could be <laughs> whatever we want. And I think, did we decide on a Saturday? I think we might be doing it on a Saturday. We are doing it on a Saturday night. So it'll be in addition to the regular streams. Fun stuff. So all of you that don't necessarily like true crime can still hang out on Wednesdays. And then we'll do our pop-up on a different night. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, do you like true crime, Denise? I do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I like. I think most women like true crime. Yeah. What's that say? Huh? You guys are driving us to murder. What's a um, sugar kitty? Sugar kitty. Um, that is just one of our wonderful members of the whiskey community. Okay. And hi, by the way, sugar kitty. How are you? Um, Donald Rant says, women and whiskeys, if you want, oh, I can't see. If you want some tips of places to visit in Edinburgh, hit me up on Discord. You know, I would like that. We have a pretty full schedule, but I believe we have one day that's completely empty, if I remember right. Yeah. So I would love that very much. Um, 
And I see Richie Z is dropping Four Leaf Whiskey's link. Thank you for doing that. Um, and Whiskey Mountains, wonderful. Um, Sugar Kitty, oh, they were talking about Sugar Kitty. I thought Sugar Kitty was in here. See, I'm saying, I don't know, buddy. Well, That's I thought fine. it was a whiskey. No, it's actually, it's a person. <laughs> or a scotch. Or a cat. Uh, Matthew Parks with a $5 entry saying, uh, have a great time on your trip. Many don't get the opportunity to travel there, so live it up and enjoy each moment. Absolutely. I mean, I really had no intention of going this year. It was one of those things that happened on the fly over some wine at the winery. <laughs> um, and her husband said to my husband, we're going on a trip. Want to go? My husband went, yeah. And then they came and told us yeah. that we were going to Scotland together. <laughs> right. And we went, okay. okay, Scotland, Ireland. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, goodness. Sounds like fun. Um, Tasty Sensibility says, uh, who doesn't like true crime? And uh, Michael S. says, can you do OJ and make a Bronco Buster cocktail too soon? Too soon. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to lie. That's on our list. And then with everything that just happened, I'm like, oh, well, wait a minute. It's fine. Um, <laughs> many deals are made over wine. Too many deals are made over wine. Yes, they my are. husband got home at one o'clock in the morning from bottling wine yesterday. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he it's, was tired today. I think they finished about eleven o'clock bottling. Oh, was I not supposed to say anything? Oops. William. It may. Have I been, don't care. It may have been later. I actually don't mind. I could be mistaken. I went to bed. They're like three blocks away. It's fine. Yeah. And, you know, one thing about my husband, he doesn't go to bars. He doesn't like go hang out. I mean, right. if he goes somewhere, it's your the house. Winery. Yeah. Or the winery or something. Which is our house. Yeah. Or close enough, right? Uh, Ireland is worth the visit. It's a beautiful country. Yes. Michelle, I'm intrigued by true crime and always amazed the evil humans are capable of. Yeah. That is one thing um, when we pick the crimes for them yeah. to vote over. There's certain things we stay away from because you know what? We're here to drink whiskey, right. chat with friends. There's just some things that we don't need to talk no. about. We don't need to give any fire to no. at all. So, um, all right, now let's move on to some more scotch um, because we are nine minutes before we end the giveaway. That was the Deanson 12, which I'm going to set over here because I'm going to finish this in a little bit. Okay. Mm. Michael, as I actually reached out to my aunt, because I am half Irish, and I mean, I'm not going to go around Ireland saying that, but I did reach out to her because I'm like, where are my people from? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and she said she was going to look into it more because she did the whole ancestry thing. I did 23 and me, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, apparently Dublin, I've got people in Dublin that were cabinet makers. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, I come... That makes so much sense. I own a home maintenance company. Hmm. It's in my blood. It's in my bones. So my family is Irish on my mom's side, and they came through Shannon into the U.S. Oh. And it's relatively soon because it was my grandpa on my mom's side. Oh, my gosh. That's how on my mom's side were Norwegian, mm -hmm. and um, my grandmother came over. So, Okay. Oh, a kilt. I should get Will a kilt. Scott has one. <gasps> I bet if Scott wore a kilt, Will would wear a kilt. Scott has a warrior kilt. I could take pictures. It's purple and black that I bought him oh my gosh. many years ago. I'll take pictures and throw it in Patreon. <laughs> okay, moving on before he... Okay, I need another <laughs> glass. That's the thing, though. I can't put scotch in my Irish glass. Okay. Let's do... The Bordeaux Red Wine Cast Matured 2008. Deanston. Yes? Okay. Okay. And this is cast strength, unchill filtered, matured in Bordeaux Red Wine Casks. 58.7%. Um, Deanston. Okay. Taste and Sensibility said that we could uh, shame Will into it. Absolutely. Get on it. He'll be maybe 
I don't know if he's coming in the after stream tonight or not, but he usually is in the after stream, so that's a great place to just get him. See, I can say this because I know that sound is off and he has no idea what I'm saying, unless Scott <laughs> tells him. Just saying. Okay. Oh! Whoopsie! <laughs> Have a little scotch, Michelle. It's fine. All righty then. Uh, I mean, all right. Let's see. Now, see, that's darker. Yes. That's darker for sure. But that's all, also really pretty amber. It really is. It's it's the Bordeaux finish. Yeah. Uh, that's a long discontinued 2008. Yes. Um, I have not had this one. It's been up there. I don't know. Well. I mean, we don't pull it down very often, and so I have not had this one. So, oh, you can you can smell that cast strength on that, but not in a bad way. You can really smell that finish. It's jammy. Oh yeah, it's like Marionberry pie. That's what it smells like, like a Marionberry pie almost. What do you think? Get the, the wine experts. <laughs> oh, MC loved that one so much as well. Okay. Sean Peak, you love Bordeaux finish. Okay. Um, I've never had a Bordeaux finish scotch. You know, y'all know that scotch and me, we're like just now starting to, starting our love affair and it, it was a lot of courting there. It was a long courtship. I'm not going to lie. I, I can kind of smell the wine. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can get, it almost smells like a Merlot. I can see that. I can see that. Like a real jammy fruit forward Merlot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and, got a punch. So make it a tiny sip. Yeah. Well, it's funny too. Cause I get just a hint of coffee on this. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can smell that. Yeah, just. Oh, I can see how that's that's under there. Like brewed coffee, not coffee. Yeah, yeah like, no, like yeah. brewed coffee. Right. Yeah. Last call, friends, MC says. We got four minutes, four minutes to get those entries in. Every uh, $5 gets you an entry to play the mystery box game with two winners. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So I have a question for your audience. So do you ever find that when um, Michelle tells you what she's smelling, that that's what you smell when you taste your whiskey or scotch? Uh, is it like power of suggestion or do you automatically get something else or? Chicken just, or the egg. Yeah, I'm just curious. Cause I know we find that a lot at the winery that when we tell people what notes are in it a lot of folks like oh yeah i get that too mm -hmm. and you know we talk about that a lot it's like is it um do we get the same notes or is it that i said it and then right and then you got it um i don't think i saw this one i apologize taste and sensibility um got some entries in there hopefully you got those mc let me know it says donation uh, trip fund. Enjoy you two. You five. Yes, five. There's five of us going. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, Merlot and Cab Grapes originated in Bordeaux. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, point of, uh, power of suggestion is a real thing. Yep. C-Man um, says yes. Oh, Richie Z, an entry for me and Shauna Marie D. Nice. Thank you, Richie Z. Good luck. Um, everybody's saying power of suggestion. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Except for when I start hearing like when Kathy Joe would get like horse saddle sweat, <laughs> I just couldn't get there. Yeah, I don't, but she could say like fruit loops and I could sometimes get there. Like, I think it just, for me, I believe that so many of the notes are attached to memories. Okay. So when you think of, um, it could be when, when I think of berries very like dark berries mm -hmm. you'll hear me say jammy because i think of berry jam mm -hmm. whereas someone else might think um berries and cream 
I think it depends on on memories, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I very much like this. It makes me want to try a lot more finished scotches. But I'm going to tell you, that proof sneaks up and powers through everything. It's like you get right off the front. You get the berries and and the, I don't know if it's coffee or tea, but it's one of those okay. that I'm getting. I think it's brewed coffee. And then, or maybe it's because you told me that. <laughs> but then that ethanol comes right up through it and just elevates all of it. It does have a punch. You're right. It's got a punch. How? What is the, the proof on that one? This is, a, what did I say, 57, 58.7%. So, yeah, it's it's cast strength. I don't know. I'd do the math to double that and give you the proof. I don't know. What's that? 107? I don't know. I'm 17. 116? Uh, yeah, 100, roughly 117. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then olfactory stimulation is more connected to memories according to experts. Okay. Yeah. Ask the bartenders for recommendations for what, for single malts and what they enjoy when you sample. That's a good idea. Yeah. I like, that's a good, very good suggestion. Thank you, Raging Irishman. Mr. Jiggs. In for some entries there with a $20 super chat. Fun and safe travels. Thank you. Um, I am, I I got, I researched it. I don't want to take my like live streaming camera because I spend a lot of money on that camera and I'm terrified of them like losing my luggage or my putting it in my carry on and having something happen to it because yeah. we got so many layovers. I got this really nice um, travel camera um, that videos in 4k and it's waterproof and I got all the things like selfie stick. It's like a GoPro. It's oh, like nice. a GoPro. So I picked that up and um, I'm learning how to use it. And I'm going to be filming all kinds of stuff from there uh -oh. and probably using it to go live on whatever Wednesday we decide to get up at three o'clock in the morning and drink whiskey or stay up till three o'clock in the morning or stay. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> um, Mr. Mom 310. Good night. Have a good evening. Thank you for joining. Um, okay, I better move along because I still have uh, the open to drink. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and cut off that giveaway. Let's cut off the giveaway, please. I'm going to put that over there so I'm going to finish that in a little bit. Mm, that's good. All right, let's do the open. Uh, I don't know who's tracking in for four entries. Hi, Malam. Um, it is MC. Um, but four entries it is. MC, can you get him down for four entries, please? Um, and Malam says, happy birthday to me. It's my birthday. Taking it easy. Fresh cracking. Pouring heavy. Life is gravy. Hope you all agree. Fat and happy. Might all, might pull some pappy. Okay, I had to read that again. I screwed that up, Malam. I'm so sorry. There's something going on with my eyeballs. All right. Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday. Taking it easy. Fresh cracking. Poor and heavy. Life is gravy. Hoping y'all agree. Fat and happy. Might pull some pappy. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Happy birthday. Happy Mom, birthday, Mike. It is. It's always good to see you in the stream. We do need to get together when we get back so we can tell you all about it. We can share some pours. Um, what's the point of being local if we can't sit down and share some pours? Happy birthday. Okay, don't be nervous, but we'll be watching. Says <laughs> Taste and Sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Valentine's 30 year old says Raging Irishman. You poured that. Okay, okay. Um, all right, let's go in. We're going to do the Oban. This is Scott's favorite. This is Scott's favorite. All right. This is 43%. This is a distiller's edition in. Distilled in 2005, bottled in 19. It is uh, double matured. It's a special release. Wow, it's got all the things. Holy moly. Let me show you this bottle. I don't know. It's got a lot of glare on it, but maybe you can see it anyway. Hmm. I thought I had the... I don't know what I do with that thing. Oh. What thing? The tube that it was in, but that's okay. Okay. Ooh. Uh, go, Malam. Hope you win some leggings, says Des. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I have a, a strange feeling about this cork. 
Uh, open Distillers Edition. Pretty cool. Yeah. Can you guys hear that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's Ellie doing? Oh, she's sleeping down there. Taking a little break. It's almost time, Ellie. It's almost time. I, I'm so sorry, you guys. I should mute the, I should mute the mic. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, that was a tight fit. I was worried about that cork. I'd settle for a needle and thread to make my own. Pull it straight up. No, I could feel it giving, Richie. I was scared. I didn't want to pull it. I just kind of did the wiggle pull, but not the twist, just the wiggle pull. Uh, that cork <laughs> sounds like me getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We were joking about I'm the only person that can injure my knee in my sleep. Right? Yeah, I did. It's still, I'm a little concerned. Is it still, yeah, is it's still a thing. Oh my yeah. gosh. I was sleeping and I stretched out in bed and my knee popped, woke me up. And that was like a week and a half ago. I'm still yeah. having issues. All right. Hot mess. Let's try this. Sounds like my knees when I walk. Lawrence. Yeah. But you know, your knees are getting better, right? They're getting better. Hope you have a cork collection for replacement. We actually, our cork thingy got full. <laughs> Mom says, do you open whiskey when you get out of bed? <laughs> depends on the day. It depends on the day. We have a great idea for when we redo the bar. Uh, yeah. So we have that half uh, barrel over there. Right. We're talking, we're going to get something that holds it, cradles it, mm -hmm. lay it down, put glass or, or, um, Plexiglass. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the top and drill a hole. And that'll be where the corks go because our corks are filling up everything and then it'll become a cork table. There you go. It'd be fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, Raging Irishman had three surgeries on your right knee. Oh God. I've had one on my ankle and I wouldn't wish on anybody. Poor Will, during snow, snow apocalypse here when we got 14 inches of mm -hmm. snow, he pushed me in a wheelchair through that shit. I was in a wheelchair for four months and he's like, I'm like, I'm going to work. He's like, you're going to work. He was tired of me at home. So he pushed me through that snow, oh my snapped goodness. his, dislocated his wrist. <laughs> That's love. All right. That's what that is. Matthew Park says, keep a journey, a journal slash diary during your travels. It will help you recap everything. Yes. In fact, I, I love a good like pad and paper, but we're going to be on the go so much. I'm going to download a vocal journaling app so that I can go back and. Oh, neat. Yeah. I think it'll be good. I bought a purse size journal. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I, I bought, bought a purse. Well, I bought two of those. <laughs> I bought a little backpack and then a little oh. across the body purse. See, that opens nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bought the cross thing too. I have to go shopping guys. With our personal shopper. Well, yes, with my personal shopper. She's also my friend that works at the winery with Denise. And she's one of the most stylish women I know. And so she's right? um, helping me. Oh, my gosh. She's so She looked together. at my style and went, I need to take you shopping. <laughs> 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 no, that's not what happened. Uh, hi, Big Vic Backyard BS is here. How are you, Vic? I smell graham crackers. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, graham crackers on open. You guys agree or disagree? I would imagine they disagree, but that's okay. I smell ground. You have a great nose, actually. Okay, so I peppy. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to pull up. Uh, M. We shared that tracker. Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna dun dun dun. We're gonna start this giveaway here. Ready, ready, ready. Um, okay, bear with me. I am doing, um, she tracked it and I'm going to run the randomizer because bless her. She does this with like a phone and a tablet and she helps me out and I appreciate her very, very much. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over here so we can ram 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 randomize it. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Got it. And there's that. Okie dokie. 
look at all this stuff. I mean, whoever whoever did this Whiskey Mountains is a pure genius. Where is it? Oh, but this looks complicated. It really, it it really isn't. I just haven't done it in a while. There we go. Randomizing, randomizing, randomizing. Don't you have to play music first or something? That's for Plinko. Oh, okay. So I randomized it once, and then we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to pick a number and then randomize it. Okay. Before you tell me. Uh, oh, bun, says Scott Smith. <laughs> Fingers and toes and liver crossed. Okay. All right. Let's randomize this one more time. Do you want to grab the Ellie Belly? I can do that. You guys ready for a dog? Hey, Miss Sally. I'm ready for a dog. All right. We're going to randomize it one more time. Oh, Denise, are you okay? I am. It's a tight fit. Okay. Miss Ellie. And I need you, Denise, to pick without looking at the screen right now. Okay. Pick a number. Between 1 and 27. Um, 12. 12. All right. Here we go. Red breast 12. For my red breast 12. <gasps> Taste and sensibility. Taste and sensibility. There you go. You're playing the mystery box giveaway game. Congratulations. Hey, Parks Place is here. Hi, cheers. How are you? Where's Adriana? Probably out driving around the snow in her new car. Did you guys see that car? There's a yawn. <laughs> Everybody drink. I'm going to drink my uh, my Oban. Mm. Ah, yes, that's nice. Hello, Miss Elle. Okay, so taste the sensibility. I just need to know which box you want me to open. Hmm? Which one? Which one? Yep, he says drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug, are we doing one, two, three, four, five, or six? Let's give away some free shit. All righty. All righty. Two. Box two. Ha-ha. All right. Dun-dun-dun. Drum roll, please. Belly, belly. Here we go. Now, remember, you can pick it or pass it. Raging, raging Irishman likes open as well. Speaking of open, just speaking of it, can we just talk about what's in this box, Doug? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> if Denise yawns, is it a double, says Malin. So, would you like to keep that or would you like to try again and see if there's something better in there? Uh, let's see. I'm telling you, look at Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet and then look at Whiskey Mountain's new car. Just saying. She went to the dark side. <laughs> oh, that looks like a keeper, says Taste of Sensibility. All right, then I oh, will. There was another yawn. Another yawn. Okay. That means you have to smell. Oh. You have to smell. Well, that smells yummy. All right. That is a keeper. Okay. We will get that delivered to you. All right, you guys want to do it again? Sure. Let's do it again. Absolutely. All right, no peeking at the numbers. I'm going to randomize it again. I'm going All to right. pull out. So no peeking. Pull those out. Dun, dun, dun. Moving right along to the randomizer. All right, pick a number for me. The tween. Sorry. <laughs> any number, any number. Probably leggings inside that cardboard tube. Okay. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? Oh, my gosh. Can I would you imagine die. if there were leggings in the Oban tube? Oh, there was another yawn. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Have a drink. Have a drink on Ellie. Perfect. Got Nope. See, this is why they don't let me do these things. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, it's this better than you than me because I I would be a hot mess. All right. You know, you guys have no idea when people track and randomize and all that. Kudos to them, right? Um, I'm just saying. Kudos to them. Do you like that face? I just realized I just made like a really awesome face. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that, and we'll go to that. 
Ha ha, that's better. No. No? No. It's not better? It's not better. See, guys, this is what happens. There we go. Now I got it. Sorry. There we go. You guys are so patient. Patient. Uh, I'm going to take little sips every time Ellie yawns. Yeah, right. Why am I struggling so much? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to do math to tell you how many numbers we have, and it is just really, I'm really struggling with it. I'm not even going to lie. Is mommy trying to do math? Hmm? Huh? Is she trying to do math? <gasps> did I get it? I think I got it. I did get it. Okay. Now I can tell you 1 through 25. 22. 22 is the number. All right. Because that's what they were leaving. That Woo is. Woohoo! So excited. And we're going to paste this, and then we're going to randomize it and go and from there. Look. Yes, now you can look. I'm so sorry. That's all right. And then we're going to randomize. All right, let's do this now. I'm so sorry, you guys. You're so patient. Scotch and I math. Suck. i got to okay. practice this shit. You said what number? 22. <laughs> 22 is... Trying to see if, Mom! Trying to see if Ellie has a tell each time she's about to yawn. She's a nub. Oh, a tell. A, a tell. tell. I thought you said a tail. Oh, no, a tell. <laughs> Mom, only only if you're holding her. If you're holding her, you can feel when she's getting ready to yawn. I use Excel. I do. I just, someone else set this up. I didn't do the formatting, and I haven't used it in so long. I used to do it all the time. I used to track for a lot of people. And you know how if you don't do something and then honestly <laughs> i'm blind mom called you a liar <gasps> i'm not a liar see look denise who won mom mom won must be rigged all right congrats mom was sending all the good vibes your way says des poem michelle, michelle how was i'm so bum. sorry um i like it <laughs> mm -hmm. it is Oh, that's funny. That's it's right. It's spicy. It's Mullum's birthday. <gasps> that is right. Yeah, you get a birthday win. Well, I will tell you that I did not pick your name because I was looking the opposite direction. I picked the day that we're leaving for Scotland, which is number 22. There you go. So it so, just happened to coincide. So pick a number. Birthday luck. Right. But don't pick number two. Yeah, don't pick number two. I think you might be disappointed. It has been broken. Where's Aaron? <laughs> Where is Aaron? Oh, he wants number five. All right, number five. All right, do you want to pull that or you want me to yeah, pull it? Yeah, you or? can pull it. I'll take the Ellie Belly. All righty. She's really warm. <laughs> are you really warm? All right. Oh, all right. All right, hold on. I got to get to the, there we go. Haha. -ha. number five. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right. Now we will talk about the oven, I promise. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's a t-shirt. It is. It is. Let me grab that overlay. Which one is it? Let me see. It is. <laughs> oh, the, this one. I'm not an expert, but I have watched a lot of whiskey tube videos. Yes, it is that one. So that you, one right there. But so in whatever color or size that you want. So you can take that or he gets to pick a different one. Correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ellie handoff. Yeah. So go ahead and let us know if you want the t-shirt or if you want something else. Ellie misses her already. <laughs> Denise bought her her own special blanket for the winery. So now she loves Denise more than me. No. Oban and the other Island distilleries are so interesting. Yeah. So this, this has a lot of different spices in it, in my opinion. Um, it's got a little more of that that maritime note than um, than the Dean Stone or the other ones. It's a little saltier. 
another. Yes. When you say maritime notes, what do you mean? It's like the salt from the ocean, the little bit of like, I don't know, like, like what the ocean smells like is what it tastes like to me. Does that make sense? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like it. I think uh, so. Uh, he wants number six. Number six. Okie dokie. Smoky. All righty. You ready? Good luck. Ellie said good luck. All Happy right, birthday let's luck. See, let's see what you get. And <laughs> another t shirt. Oh, well, this is perfect. <laughs> Oh, okay. is this the one I think it is? Is it this is. the hug? This is I need a hug. There you are. That's for you. And what what does it say in the It says I need a hug. Huge pour of whiskey. Oh, that's that's what, what it says. Huge or bourbon, sorry. Huge pour of bourbon. So just uh, shoot me an email. Let me know what color and size you want. Go on womenwhiskeys.com and look and see what color and what size you want. Um, yeah, it's briny. That's a very, Rachel oh, Irishman, briny. that's okay. a great word. That's way better than mine. Um, yeah, because I didn't really get salty when you said maritime. but and, or, Yeah, Richie Z says definitely got the salty note. Yeah, briny is a much better word. I like that. Uh, Malum says might go well with leggings. <laughs> Uh, might go well with leggings. And even Des says, yes, briny. Okay. Um, Coast whiskey are salty, seashore. crab, shrimp, fishy, seashore smells. Oh, olivey. Oh, olivey? Oh, hold on. Huh. Like black olives or green olives? Or like Kalamata? I could get like the pimento out of a green olive. I could get that flavor off of it maybe. Yeah, but the proof is what's kind of kind of bringing that to where it's. I think without that proof, it would be so salty. It would be too briny. Hmm. Okay. In my opinion, but it's good. Yeah, green. Oh, she green. says. Okay. Um, I can see that. Okay. Um. So Thank you. I want to check. Yes, it did drop. So if you are in the patron tier, four dollars or more. You should have the link to the after stream where we're going to play some Patreon Plinko. Um, we're going to do a little pub style chatting, all the things. Um, I'm not going to see you guys for, well, I guess I'll do my one live. Right. But I won't see you guys until May. And meanwhile, next week, Whiskey Mountains is going to come on here and do all the giveaways and all the stuff. And you guys are going to taste through some Jim Beam. And have Fine. a great time. Uh, there will not be an Ellie, but there will probably be probably be a Hammy. A Hammy. So yeah. So anyway, more green than black says Rachel. Okay. Olives. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a sec, but I did get there. I did get I there. Can, I can see the wheels are turning. It took me a minute. I'm like the shirt. No, yeah. the olives. Yeah, the olives. Um, hey guys, thank you again for all your support. Thank you for the well wishes on, on our trip. Um, we're going to have a lot to talk about while we're there. When we get back, uh, you'll see some things uh, drop on YouTube Reels, the shorts. You'll see some drops in Patreon. And then we'll have a full report when we get back. And Lord only knows what else you might see. I mean. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. Denise is very put together, but she's fun. I am a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun. Yeah. I uh, make pack Scott's women of whiskey's leggings for him. We might get a, a shot over there. While we're that would be a pack those suckers, right? Pack them. All right, guys, um, patrons, I'll see you over there. Thanks for showing up. And um, we will next time I see y'all, I'll be in Scotland. Bye. Bye. Thank you for the way you make me feel. Just like a stolen car. Behind